Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is another video in the JavaScript and Node.js for Complete Beginners course. So in this video we're going to look at declaring variables. In the last video um, we saw how you could create variables. So what we're doing here is um, here I've got a variable called message and we say that I'm assigning it the value hello world. Notice that text is in quotes because it's what we call a string. And then later on, after outputting that on the, on the console, after printing hello world, I create another variable and assign it the value 7. Notice the 7 is not in quotes, and that's because it's a number. We don't put numbers in quotes when we want to use them actually as a number. Um, so if I want to add and subtract things or whatever uh, with this days value, then we don't put it in quotes. So again, we've got here we've got a... Uh, well, here we've, we're assigning assigning the value 7 to a variable called days, and we're outputting it. Now, we're going to be looking at this, and if you're a complete beginner, you'll, you'll probably, this is, you know, and this is totally new to you, it might seem confusing, probably it will, but you develop fluency with it just by using uh, these ideas, and it will become clearer later on. What I want to show you here is... Um, we want to start off using best practice, and there's a problem with what we did in the last video. So supposing I wrote message equals uh, hello, we can use double quotes or single quotes, it doesn't matter, it's just which, whichever you prefer, there's no difference between them in JavaScript. Hello world, let's write that, and console.log message. Notice uh, variables don't get put in double quotes either. That's a, a mistake beginners sometimes make. Um, only text values get put in uh, in quotes here. All right. Uh, so later on in my program, I might write message with only one s as a mistake, and I might say equals. Um, I don't know. How are you? And then write console.log message. Let's run this program. I'll maybe clear my console to make this less confusing. All right, so this kind of does what you expect, really. Um, this second variable with the misspelling is a completely different variable to this one. Uh, now, if you've got a big program and it, it, it can be very easy to misspell a variable name. So it might have been my intention here to change the value of this variable, which you can do. You can give it a different value later on. But what I've done instead is I've basically created a completely new variable with a different name just because I've misspelled it. So it, perhaps it was my intention to do this just to change the value of this variable, which you can do. But because I misspelt it, I created an entirely new variable. Now, the, the upshot of this is um, that it's not good practice to simply create variables by directly assigning a value to them like this. Um, there are two things that we should do. So uh, we're going to do this in every JavaScript program that we create. Firstly, at the top, we're going to write this in double or single quotes. We're going to write use space strict and then a semicolon at the end of it. Now, if we write message equals, uh, let's say hello, and then try to output message, console.log message. Let's try this. we get an error, and that's actually a good thing. What use strict forces us to do is it forces us to use a keyword to declare our variables, and the keyword that we usually use is let. So I say let message equal hello, and then I output message. And if we run this program, now it says hello, it actually works. Okay, um, so... 
if you've um, been using JavaScript for a while and you're not a beginner, then you will have also seen the keyword var. So we could also, also use var like this. Var message equals hello. Var, you might guess, is short for variable. And this also works. What's the difference between them? Well, uh, let is kind of a later introduction to JavaScript. Uh, we're going to be using let for various reasons that I'll go into later on. Uh, but for now, um, you just have to know that when we create a variable, we should write let. So let message equals hello. And you can change it later if you want to. Let's take a look. So I can later, I can say message equals how are you? Question mark. And now let's output it again to see how it's changed. Console.log message. And we'll run it. And it says, how are you? So if we look at this, what we've done here, um, when we say let message, we call this declaring a variable. Now, um, you can put comments in your JavaScript. If you want a single line comment, if you write two forward slashes like this, everything that you write after that will be a comment. So let's um, write here, declare the variable message and assign the value hello to it. All right. And then what we're doing here is we're print um, the variable let's write print let's just write print message and here what we're doing notice there's no let keyword here we've de we've declared the variable and we only have to declare the variable once in our program here what we're doing is just assigning a new value to an existing variable so here we're saying um, assign a new value to the variable message So we, we declare a variable, we assign a value to it with the assignment operator equals, we display it or we'll print it on the console. Later on, we assign a different value to it, to the same variable, how, how are you? And we print that again on the console. And if we run this program, it does this. So um, don't worry about this too much. Again, if you are a complete beginner, this will be confusing. Um, I, I've seen people try to learn programming by writing loads and loads of notes, and that's the wrong way to learn it, in my view. The right way is just to practice it. So the thing to do now is type this program out for yourself, if you're a beginner especially, and get it working and run it. And don't sweat too much over what it's doing. But look at it and think, is, is there any way you could change this that wouldn't break it? And if you can think of any way, then try that out. I'm sure you can think of some changes at least that you can make to this program uh, that, that wouldn't break it. Have a go. See if you can change this without breaking it once you've got it working. But get this working first. So type it out, get it working, and then try to experiment with it and see how you get on. Uh, and you'll find that as you keep typing stuff and experimenting with it, gradually your confusion will go away and your fluency will build up and it will all begin to make sense. But really, learning programming, I always say it's kind of in the fingers. You've got to type stuff and uh, experiment with it. It's, it's useless, in my view, to make loads of notes and to really stare at something and agonize over it and try to understand what it means. A lot of the time, that's useless. It's much better to um, actually type it out and practice it and play around with it. Okay, so we'll leave it there for this video. Until next time, happy coding.